Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and I welcome you back to the Let's Play of Final Fantasy. We need to have a talk. Um, Alright, what I've decided to do at this point in the game is actually, now that I have the Earth Orb restored and we have the canoe, it is actually possible to do a sequence break at this point in the game. To do things sl uh, just slightly out of order, for those who don't know. At this point, I think the natural order of the game says that I need to go to beat the fire, the fire fiend in the Gurgle Volcano. Then I would go off to what is known as the Ice Cave to get the floater, which would allow me to raise an airship. And then I would go to this location here, the Castle of Ordeals, to get an item that would prove my courage. So my characters, these guys, could be advanced to a knight, a red wizard, a white wizard, and a black wizard. What unfortunately... And I recorded a video where I tried to do that, but my characters got absolutely slaughtered by a person, and I was really, really upset. So, what I've done is, I'm actually at the Castle of Ordeals right now, and let me just show you where I am geographically on the map. Let's bring it up here. So, like, here's where Crescent Lake was. I've gone up and around through here, and I went up through these islands, and there's a little river you can use as a port for your ship, and you can just get in on the canoe and walk to this area right here. It's really, really easy. Matter of fact, let me go up a little bit and show you. See? You can just use this this river right here as a port for your ship and just dock in. But, also, on this island are some of the hardest enemies in the game. I would not even spend time here. Just get out. <laughs> so, uh, let's go inside. Proof of our courage. Let's go. Possession of the crown is required to test your courage. Take it to the royal throne and bring back proof of your courage. Good luck. Okay, this bugs me. The, the crown is the thing we got when we were doing that whole thing fight, fighting Astros, right? And the Elfland and all that. Why does that have anything to do with what's going on here? I, how would they know I'd have the crown? And whatever. Just bugs me. Okay. Uh, let's go on the throne. And, as it turns out, this place is full of teleporters. So, we just have to walk into these pillars to use the different teleporters. Okay. Down, I think. Yep. Bottom one. There are monsters here, I'm just not running, running into any. Okay. I want the first one here. Yep. Head right. Yeah, so it's a big maze, basically. Uh-oh. Zombles. I use fire two, and harm two, and fire two. Uh, the other reason I'm here at the Castle of Ordeals is it's, we can get some items that are going to greatly help us through the rest of the game. It's going to make magic so much easier and stuff. So th there's a, a lot of good reasons for coming here first. And these monsters really aren't that hard. This room has one of those such items that I wanted to come get. But right in front of the chest are these mud golems. I think ice will work really well here. I tried fire previously and it didn't work. A strong attacker, so you gotta be careful. Freeze! Nope. Maybe it's lightning. Oh, there goes one. Freeze! How does a mud golem poison someone? What? Ugh. Let's try lightning. Nope, magic really doesn't work against these guys. You gotta get physical with them. Dang. Nice. Da, 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 da. Wait. First, let's use our only pures. Ooh. And heal up our two party members. Let's get people back in the right position. And let's open this chest. And inside is a Zeus gauntlet. Now, for those who know Greek mythology, Zeus was the head of the gods and is the god of thunder. This gauntlet will allow us to use lightning 2 at any time. 
forever for the rest of the game. So this is like a really cool item to have. Now, back in our inventory screen, as I found out, you can't... Let me just show you. We can't equip the Zeus Gauntlet to Fire Wizard 23. I wanted to check to see how the armor abilities would work, but it does, as it turns out, it doesn't work. He can't use it right now. He might be able to use it when he becomes a knight, but he can't use it right now. Let's give it to Rosa for now. Now, only Rosa can use it. No one else can use it because it's in Rosa's inventory, so only Rosa can actually use it. Let's keep going. Oh. Mummies. Any wizard mummy. I'll use fire. Um, actually, let me have Rosa demonstrate the Zeus Gauntlet. Oh, but she might not have a chance. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dead. Da, 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 da. Head south, and you want to run into this pillar down here. Here's the stairs to the second floor. Here's where the monsters start to get a little more aggressive. I'm in a safe state here, actually. Go through this door, and... Nightmares. I'm going to use Lightning. I'll have Rosa use the Zeus Gauntlet. And I'll have Pofo use Fire. They're kind of really tough versions of the Mad Ponies from before, if I ever showed that on video. Lightning! Zeus! And it did lightning damage. Awesome. Fire! Just keep attacking. Nice. Ba -da 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 -da. Let's check this chest. A heal staff. This will cast heal on every member of the party when it's used. Um, heal... I, I turned... I didn't get it for Rosa, but... It casts cure basically on every single person. So that's awesome. And there's only one logical person who should be carrying that. And that is Rosa. Obviously, the other person, people can use it too, but. Now, Rosa. Is she really. I want to check her weapon, weapon ability here, women. Rosa. 1928, and. Rosa with the heal staff would be. 1323. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it with the Silver Hammer. But that heal staff will be really helpful. Basically, at this point for the rest of the game, have Rosa use heal every combat. Ooh, more chests. Zombie Dragons. I'll have Rosa use the heal staff. I'll have Pofo use fire. Fire! Heal! And that will never run out of charges. We can always heal now for the rest of the game. Fire! Zombie dragon! Stab! Heal! Nice. Awesome. Lots of experience points. Let's check these chests. An iron gauntlet. An ice sword. And a gold bracelet. Ooh. Alright, well I know the gold bracelet is better than silver. So let's give the gold bracelet to... Timmy. Uh, iron gauntlet is going to do any good. As for weapons... Is ice better than silver? I don't know. Wait. Okay. Uh, 20, 42, 79 for the damage and hit. If I give him the ice sword, it's 48 and 98. Okay, so it is better, so we'll keep the ice sword on. Let's keep going. Oop, more chests. 7,340 gold. 1,455 gold. A house. And that treasure box is empty. Let's keep going. One more chest. And it's... A tail! We got the tail! That is the proof of courage. Let's get out of here. Whoa. More zombie dragons. We gotta take care of these guys quick because we're running out of time. Fire three. Harm three. Fire three. Ow. Fire! 
Harm! Fire! And actually, if you walk back to that same spot, you can fight those dragons over and over again. But let's get out of here. Okay, folks, we've done it. And in the next video, we'll head off to the... Well, I'll explain that in the next video. Take care.